Yo, what's up guys? It's Jace here, and today we have another Mutt gameplay for you guys. This is my squad. It's a godly squad. 85 overall. We have Jamal Charles now, and we do have that new rising star, Alan Hearns. And, um, yeah, um, I think our team's really good. And we have the captain, Michael Kendricks, or my very first game with him, Sean Smith, at the, um, first corner. And then, um... I think my team is pretty nice. Um, his team, Jamal Charles, Tony Homo, and Jason Kelsey, the center. His team looks like pretty trash. I mean, he has Jamal Charles and Tony Homo, but that's pretty much it. It goes way down there from there. And um, so we're starting off with the ball, and we are running a toss play. And we have blockers, and um, we're get, taking it to the outside, but he does get the tackle on me. Right here, we're going to run the read option with Tyrod Taylor. And um, I thought I could maybe go a little further with Tyrod, but he gets us about 8 yards. And um, then we get the first after that. Right here, Jamal Charles makes an unnecessary spin move to get to the other side. Um, maybe not unnecessary, but he gets us a quick little 7, 8 yards. Um, right here, AJ Green. Look at that animation. I love that animation. When it's me catching the ball instead of him, but um, so yeah um, uh, we're we're definitely going down the field right here. He gets a little slant route to go and gets the first down right here. Second and two. He running the toss play to Jamal and I freaking hit the crap out of him. I'm pretty sure that was George Aloka who laid the boom on him. Definitely picked that guy up. He's only about 10k. I think now he's only the 10k. I got him for like 20k though. Um, right here, Jamal Charles breaking a tackle, doing a little jiggy juke move, and um, yeah, so he's looking pretty good. And um, right here, um, it looks like I might go up to just a Kelvin Benjamin, but I, I see a nice little opening. AJ Green gets a nice block there, and um, we get the first down. So now it's second and two on our three or on his three line, three yard line, and we get in for the score. 13 to 0. I did I did try to go for two and um that didn't really work. I just wanted to like take over the game ultimately. Um but right here he gets the nice little catch and gets in bounds. I believe maybe I think he tried to like rack catch that. I think he should have like the possession catch but um right here he runs the ball with Jamal Charles. Um we both do have Jamal Charles which is um pretty weird. I I don't see a lot of people with Jamal Charles which I'm pretty surprised about cuz Jamal Charles is like one of my favorite guys to use or with or use with, and um right here he gets a nice little I believe that was maybe like a slant drag route sort of thing, right here he's wide open I can't believe he was this wide open he's down at the one yard line um he he tried to run it up the middle before did not work actually lost a yard but this time he gets him for the score and it's now seven to thirteen so we're running the hurry up offense here second and five I'm looking for Travis Kelsey and we do get him and um. Oh, no, that's actually Kobe Fleener, my bad. I had two, um, two, uh, pretty good tight ends, um, Kelsey and Kobe Fleener. So, um, right here, we're just scrambling with Tyrod Taylor to put in the juke move and break in that guy's ankles. Um, and I'm just saying right here, I'm just, I mean, this guy is definitely not too good, I gotta say. And, um, right here, AJ Green just beats on him. I gotta say, this guy is not that good, and I'm not very, like, proud of, like, beating the crap out of this guy, but, I mean, I thought you guys wanted to see me just beat down on someone, um, this guy was not very good at usering either, so, that kind of sucks for him, um, and I don't think I'm, like, that good of a player, but, and that was kind of lucky there, that was Sean Smith, and he's, he's taken it all the way back, and, um, so now he's going to be 27 to 7, and we're just showboating, trying to get him out and quit, actually he's now 28 to 7, because I did go for 2, I'm just trying to make him quit, right here, he makes a dumb play call, Michael Kendricks is just, come on, you can't, you can't make that read, man, like, it's it's now 36 to 7, and, um, I thought I was going to maybe get another, another catch there, another pick, but, um, he gets a freaking Odell, um, that kind of sucks, but, I mean, it's not, it kind of sucks for him, because it's now 36 to 7, but, um, right here, uh, I thought I was going to maybe get the user pick again, but, um, I didn't. He's just making kind of bad calls right here. We, I actually pressed man of three deep. Um, that did not really work out well right there, but, um, whatever. He's on his own 16. We're doing man coverage here. I'm trying to just maybe use her with my safety right here. Trying to, um, just get better at usering with my safeties. I'm pretty bad at usering with my safeties. I'm better at usering with my line linebackers. And, um, 
Yeah, so I like that. Jamal Charles running a halfback uh, pitch, and we break that guy's ankles. I thought I could maybe go all the way, but instead of getting down at the 25, we are now down at the 14, or I think we're down at the f uh, 13. But right here, Carlos Hyde. Dang. We have a two-headed monster, I gotta say. Jamal Charles and Carlos Hyde. Both those guys are just amazing. So he's back on offense. It's 42 to 14. Um, I, hey, congrats to him for staying for most of the game. We get a user pick right here, and you know what's gonna happen. He's out of here. I, I get it, dude. 42 to 14. As long as you guys you stayed here <coughs> for that long, um, I'm alright with you. But anyways, yes, yeah, so you saw him quit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next mutt or.